From packed cricket matches at the National Stadium at Providence to carnival events all across the country, Guyana pulled off the first ever cricket carnival locally. This is part of an effort to push the country as a tourism destination and make Guyana the entertainment capital of the Caribbean. Charles Ramson, the Minister of Culture, Youth and Sport, told the newsroom about the successes of the events gone by on Sunday at the sidelines of the last event, the Road Parade. We've been able to put Guyana in the world and everybody that has had the experience to taste Guyana's flavor, and a lot of them are from folks who would know Guyana's flavor well because they're from the diaspora. They're pretty excited. I spoke to a number of folks who didn't come back to Guyana for decades. And we had set out to a, a very ambitious target that we wanted to become one of the events capitals for the region. And I think there's still a lot for us to do to achieve that, but I think that we're off to a great start. Even so, he said that stakeholders will review this year's carnival and push for an even better carnival next year. We brought a lot of teams together to make this a success. Government side, private side. In a way that I don't think that has ever really happened before. And from both sides, you have lots of strong um, areas of, of, of skills and expertise and and resources of all kinds and being able to marry that in a way where you're going to get the most effective outcome for the, the, the best uh, possible e events for our country and, and solutions for our country. Uh, I think there's still a lot to be done there. The Cricket Carnival will return next year as Ghana will once again host the finals of the Caribbean Premier League, CPL. Reporting for the newsroom, I am Fishani Ragabir.